For me, the importance of archaeology is about facing the future. We have so many difficult challenges that we're confronting globally now um, as a community. And if we really want to confront those head on and to, to meet those with, with problem solving, we need to understand who we are as humans, the full diversity of that. And we can only do that by understanding the full range of possibilities and diversities of humans throughout history, throughout the past. And archaeology really is one of the only subjects that can allow us to do that. So I'm Charlie. Um, I am a third year um, archaeology student at the University of York. I love the fact that on the degree, there's such a huge range of topics that you can choose. Um, in the first year, you get you get everything from prehistory right the way through to sort of modern archaeology. So you really get a taste of what archaeology is about because I know a lot of people go into archaeology thinking it's one thing and come out the end thinking it's you know so many other different things yeah so it really it really it's taught me so much already um and I'm not even finished yet <laughs> I'm Izzy I'm a PhD student in archaeology at Durham University um and my PhD is in um upper paleolithic cave arts in northern Spain from a young age um I was interested in the past and I always went to museums um, and sites of historical interest um, but I also had like a love of science and science was my favourite subject at school um, and I found that archaeology sort of combined the two. I'm Isabel Harvey, I'm 19, I'm a first year student at the University of Manchester and I'm studying the BA archaeology course there. I've loved archaeology since I was really young. Um, I've I've been interested in sort of things like time team since I was about six and then I started realising it was a career when I was about 11. My name is Dr Penny Bickle and I am a senior lecturer at the University of York in archaeology. I also direct our master's courses in funerary archaeology and my research specialism is the Neolithic period, that's the transition from hunting and gathering to farming. So I have had a lot of questions in my role as admissions tutor about what universities are looking for uh, when they're reading UCAS applications. And I think the most important thing is that we're looking for someone who's interested and passionate in studying archaeology, whether that's through having a chance to volunteer in a museum or on an excavation, or just through the books that you're reading and the places that you're, you're visiting. We don't, as a discipline, tend to have any prerequisites um, in terms of A-level subjects. So any combination of A-level subjects um, can be accepted when you apply to university to study archaeology. And there are no really best combinations. I think it's really about finding the subjects that you're most interested in. Um, we do have some exceptions though, so for example at the University of York we run something called a bioarchaeology degree which is all about borrowing methods from biology and chemistry to study archaeology and for that we do have the prerequisite of having a science A level. But on the other side you will also find uh, archaeology degrees that are much more based into the arts and humanities for which are going to be much more about essay writing and, and it will be less based on the sciences as well. So I was that that child that was always collecting rocks and bits of pot in a bucket all the time and I still do um <laughs> I like to say that it's my kids that do that but it's me that encourages it as a child growing up my parents never took me on normal holidays um we, we'd go to the normal standard tourist destinations but then we'd go off the beaten track and explore different historical sites and real they, they like to try and really immerse me in the culture of whatever country we were in I think from a young age um I was really sort of doused in history and archaeology and I think it's just it's just been sort of there from from the word go. Going forward though um, I am branching off slightly away from archaeology I'm going more into sort of primatology and conservation but it's come as a natural pro process from um, the archaeology degree for part of my dissertation I'm working um, with Sort of primates, great apes, um, and making comparisons um, with our ancestors. So I'm really, I'm really, you know, stuck deep in human evolution. Um, and going forward, I'm, I'm going more into the great ape um, conservation work, but I'm going to be using some of the data, I hope, um, to tell us about our ancestors. So fingers crossed, I'll still be taking archaeology forward with me. Um, but I think it shows that archaeology can go in so many different ways. It doesn't have to be just field work or, you know, it can it can really take you so many different places. I hadn't really studied archaeology formally 
in any way before. So I didn't have it as an option in school to study. Um, and I, I think I wanted that kind of um, almost foundational knowledge about the subject as a whole. Um, and I wasn't sure exactly what about archaeology interested me either. So I don't know, I didn't know whether it was sort of the kind of excavation side of things um, or whether it was more kind of theoretical aspects of it. And I think um, the degree allowed me to kind of explore all aspects um, and kind of find my, my interest within that, having not had any experience of it before. Sort of took me on avenues I didn't quite expect to go down. So a good example of this is my undergrad. And when I went, when I started my undergraduate degree, um, the thing that interested me was later medieval stuff. And I was fascinated by that. I think my first ever lecture was on um, early prehistory and on the Paleolithic and suddenly it kind of opened my eyes to what was out there. It piqued my curiosity immediately and then I, I sort of went down that avenue and I never expected that was the kind of direction my studies would take. Um, and I think that's that kind of summarises most people's experience with studying archaeology is it, yeah, it takes you in these different directions you would have never expected to go down and if you're a curious person it's amazing because you have you can explore all these different things. In terms of the degrees that are available to study archaeology at university there are two main types single honours where you'll just be studying archaeology and joint honours where you'll be able to combine archaeology with another subject but there's also lots of choice and different types of archaeology that you can study at university. So some um, degrees will be much more science-y, they'll be BSCs, so Bachelors of Science, and other ones will be more humanities-based, so they'll be Bachelors of Arts. And you'll find lots of different types as well. So I've already mentioned the University of York uh, offers bioarchaeology, but you'll also find things such as archaeology and heritage, historical archaeology, and within that, if you look at different universities' web pages, you'll find there's lots of different specialisms. Some are going to uh, be very focused on the archaeology of the British Isles, whereas other universities you're going to find the opportunity to study in all sorts of different parts of the world. So I recommend having a look and looking at the module choices that are available through different universities. Whatever you think archaeology is, you're going to learn so much more about the subject. I would say really go for it. If you're thinking about archaeology, go for it because the skills that you will learn on an archaeology degree are not just how to excavate, they're not just you know how to do archaeology, it's going to be presentation skills, it's research skills, it's um, data extraction, it, there's so so many things that you will learn that you can take it literally anywhere, there's people in my cohort that are wanting to go into the police, they're wanting to go into law, they're wanting to go into so many different sort of careers um, it's not just archaeology. Um, and although archaeology is fascinating and brilliant, um, it's a really good foundation degree almost it's, it, to give you those skills for life. So after I've um, finished my course in archaeology, I am intending on going on to study a master's. I'm not quite sure what specifically, but archaeology related. And then either go into commercial or possibly go into further research and go on to further study. I think archaeology is important because it's both because it can help through looking at past societies, help us find solutions to issues either current or in the future. And also I feel through looking at where we've come from, it gives it gives us an understanding of who we are. If you're interested in the past, past human behaviours, if you're a curious person, if you like problem solving, if you like taking interesting approaches to understanding um, human behaviour, any of that, study archaeology, because you'll find your interest within that. Even if you don't have much experience of archaeology before, or you have vast amounts of experience of archaeology before, it's such a broad topic as well. And I think people don't appreciate that necessarily of archaeology is that it's not necessarily just digging you know there's lab work there's conservation there's even like digital reconstructions I mean you name it it probably falls under the umbrella of archaeology so there's there's so many different things to explore. What employers tell us they like about archaeology graduates is that they have a foot in both camps they both have that uh, deep critical knowledge that comes from investigating a subject and writing essays about it and really thinking about it but they also have those analytical skills where they can handle data, look at graphs and really take them apart. You're not going to be confused when presented with a graph or bamboozled by someone trying to sell you something. And those are really important skills which are really valued by employers. 
but also archaeologists because of their time in the field and in the lab are really good team workers as well which makes them stand out a little bit from other humanities graduates. So I, I'd say if you want to do a degree that you're really interested in um, and that you're interested in archaeology but you're not really sure whether you want to go on and do a career or not it's not going to limit you to just having careers in archaeology it's going to open up a whole broad range of different types of careers.